Hello guys and welcome to my video tutorial number uh, 41 and this video I'm going to show you how to encrypt your passwords okay or how to encrypt whatever you want using the MD5 okay encryption so to start I want you guys to go to your um, local host slash PHP my admin okay go to your PHP my admin Make sure you have your uh, XAMPP control panel um, activated and go to your test site uh, database which is the one that we are using for our uh, CRUD test site. Go to users table and go click here in structure. Okay. What I want you guys to, uh, to do now is uh, these are the fields you have, okay? And these are the character size limit you have for each field. 20, 20, and probably you'll have 20 as well in password. So once that we are using the passwords now to, um, uh, we will encrypt the passwords using MD5. Uh, MD5 changes whatever password you type to a 32 digit size password. So you will have to change from 20 to 40, okay? To do that, um, you have to go here a little bit to the right and click here, change, okay? And in here, you probably have 20, so take that out and put uh, type 40 and save, okay? Perfect. Okay, so now you'll be able to uh, have in your password fields um, characters uh, or 40 uh, size um, passwords. Okay, and um, to show you right uh, right away how a MD5 password looks like, I'm going to show you in here users. And let me scroll down. So this is how uh, MD5 encrypted password uh, looks like. Okay, it's a 32-digit password, and it's pretty uh, much uh, impossible to know what the password is. Probably in here is um, uh, encrypted the password maybe one two three four five or something like that. Okay, but we will always have a 32. Um, password, uh, encrypted password here, okay? So, um, I'm going to show you how to um, whatever uh, user registers to your uh, CRUD test site and types password, whatever password he types uh, to register, it will always have this um, this value in your database, okay? It will always be encrypted. So you can encrypt whatever you want into your database, either the password or the email or the name. But in this video, I'm going to show you only how to encrypt your password using MD5. So let's go and start uh, encrypting passwords. So the first thing I want you to do is to go to your insert.php. And in here, okay, scroll down until you find the MySQL query that inserts the values. Okay, this script is the script that uh, inserts uh, new values of the registered form, okay, or a new user, the values of the new user, okay. So you'll have a new email, a new email, uh, sorry, a new name, a new email, and a new password, right? So in here, before the MySQL query, we have to type a new password, a new uh, variable, sorry. Uh, so Let's type password md5, and this will hold um, the transformed password uh, or the md5 password. Okay, this is where we will transform the old password to the, an md5 password. So to do that, we type md5, and inside the parenthesis, we type uh, whatever uh, is the value that we want to transform to md5. Uh, or to encrypt to MD5, okay? And the value is the variable password that we have here, 
Okay, this is the 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 variable that uh, we want to change to MD5 encryption. So here we type password. Okay, and this is the the this is the value uh, that uh, if you go to your test cred, um, your CRUD test site and click register. Uh, this is the value that we type in here. Okay, so whatever we typed in here is going to be uh, saved and inserted into your database as uh, your MD5 password. So the only thing that we uh, also have to change is in here, instead of password, obviously we have to type password MD5. Okay, um, and basically that's it. So if we now go back uh, to our register form and we type in here, uh, let's say Rocky Balboa, and let's type here RockyHotmail.com, and here let's type Rocky as a password, Rocky and register. You have success. You have successfully registered. And now let's go back. And uh, if I click in, uh, um, okay, we have here. You have here uh, Balboa one. No, this is not. This is not the. Um, this is not Rocky Balboa. This is another value. Okay, so click home. Okay, and uh, before we use. Um, that new user in your uh, login system to see if it works. I want you guys to go to your PHP My Admin, refresh, and at the bottom uh, probably we will have the Rocky Balboa user with the new encrypted MD5 password. Okay, so you'll not be able to see what the password is. We know that is a Balboa or sorry, we know that the password is Rocky, but um, if a new, uh, if a hacker enters your database and sees, uh, searches for the password of Rocky Balboa, it will only see this, this password here. And it's pretty much impossible to know what the password, what the real password is, okay? So you see, uh, I have also here some uh, other few passwords encrypted. Okay, it's pretty much impossible to know and to use that password. So um, let's go back and in here let's type Rocky Balboa. Okay, and now we have to type here Rocky. If we click login, the password is incorrect. And why is that? Because uh, whatever we type in here, okay. Uh, the script that runs this values will take this password that we type in here and will search the database to see if Rocky Balboa has that password. What uh, happens is that when it reaches the Rocky Balboa it finds that the password is not uh, Rocky is 5BAB41 blah 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 okay all this crap here so what we have to do here is to go to the script that processes these val values. Take uh, uh, we have to take the value of password, uh, which is probably a posted uh, value, and in here we have to transform this um, to an MD5 also um, MD5 uh, encryption. Okay, and then uh, we can then the script w uh, can uh, search for that. So to do that, we have to go to login.php, and in here, this is the password that we type in here, the value that we type in here. We have to transform this to an MD5 password, okay? So automatically, when we type there a password, it will transform to an MD5 password. So let's save this, and now if we go back, and we type here, let's refresh, and if we type here Rocky Balboa and we ha we type here uh, Rocky login and we are in see perfect okay so it works um, 
also what you have to change is the edit user because if you go into edit a user uh, let's edit now Rocky Balboa I want to change the password to another password okay instead of Rocky this means Rocky here okay instead of this password I want to change this password to a new one so let's edit uh, here this password here to uh, let's say um, it was Rocky so now it's going to be Bell Boa sorry Bell Bell Boa okay uh, but if I save now this um, in the in the database uh, it will not show an MD5 password it will show Balboa password okay uh, what I want to do is to change here to Balboa and when I save it also in the database uh, stills uh, I want the password uh, still uh, be uh, an MD5 password okay to do that we have to go to change.php and here new password we have to type here MD5 and between the parentheses request new password save this and now uh, it will work okay so if I click here if I type here Bell Boa save an update your values have been successfully uh, uh, updated successfully if I edit user I will see in the page 9 the last page Rocky Balboa has this value here okay which is Balboa okay this value holds Balboa and if I go to let me see if I go to home and type here Rocky Balboa and for example if I type Rocky now I log in incorrect password let's go back instead of Rocky let's type Bell Boa if I click login we are uh, inside okay so it works perfectly and this is all for now and about the MD5 so you now know how to encrypt um, the passwords you can encrypt whatever you want either the names or uh, emails okay um, but there are a lot of, uh, a lot of other um, encryptions out there that you can use in PHP okay MD5 is not the only one uh, it's one of the most uh, common and used uh, encryptions but you can use a lot of other um, encryptions that are available for PHP and to learn more about that you can go to php.net and search there for the other encryption methods okay so this is all for now and see you guys later bye